Hey friends, welcome to our channel. I am so excited that we are finally going to be showing you how we are putting our water in our greenhouse. And that is made possible because I finally found the live line. This is a one inch line that comes from my well house. I was finally able to locate it and we're gonna connect into it tonight and get going on running our irrigation tape to our raised beds in our greenhouse. But first things first, we need to make this T connection to get that water over to the greenhouse. So when you locate your line, it's probably going to be at an odd angle to whatever line you're, you're running into it, unless you get lucky. I didn't know where this line was, so when we found it, it was a blessing. Uh, but I'm going to need to run a little piece off here, and I'm going to put a 45 so that it will connect to this line much better. As you can see, I had to dig a long trench that way and a long trench that way to try to find the line. But when you find the line, you need to dig a decent distance down the line so that when you cut it, you have some play and you can move that, uh, that cut pipe into whatever fitting that you need. As you can see, I tried to do that last night. Here's some blue glue from last night and I broke the, the fitting because I didn't dig back far enough. So make sure you dig back far enough so that you do get a lot of play in these lines to be able to, to make the connection properly. So if you've made a mistake or there was a big break in your line and you don't have enough to stick into the end of your fitting like this one, this is not going to be the proper distance, then you're going to need to use a repair coupling. I'll have to cut this line back a little bit further Put the repair coupling on and then add some new line that's the proper length to get this fitting positioned properly. So we have our repair coupling on our old piece of pipe over here. We've cut it back probably about a foot. We've got a new piece of pipe on the end and you can see it's almost touching the old pipe. But the nice thing about these repair couplings is that you can take this piece and adjust it in and back forth about five or six inches. That'll give us room to put on our T-fitting and then adjust it properly for the right depth that it needs to cement into that part right there. Everything's connected, the glue is curing. I'm gonna flip the water on in a few minutes, check to see if the repair coupling is leaking, and then we can go flip the water on in the greenhouse, start running our irrigation drip lines. I'm so excited. This hydrant has been in here for quite some time without any water going to it. So here's the very first time it's gonna be turned on. It's probably been five or six months. <laughs> oh, I just blew all the air out of the line. I gotta run this for quite some time to get all of what had settled in that line over the time it was sitting in the ground. Got to get it out of there. I'm just so excited about having water in here. Now that we have our hydrant working in our greenhouse and we have water, we're going to be running this half inch poly line and this Chapin drip tape. And those pieces are part of the Master Gardener irrigation kit from Grower Solution. It also comes with these great valves which allows you to turn on and off the drip tape on each line. And if you didn't already know, we are a partner with Grower Solutions. So you can go in the description below the video for a discount code. And while you're down there, go check out the banner ad with all of our t-shirts. You can also go head over to the main page and click on the store tab. And that's where we have our merchandise. It goes to help out our family. I'd appreciate it. Now the Master Gardener kit also comes with fittings like this, little elbows and connectors that will help you in the process of running this wherever you need it. But we also picked up one of these dig timers from Home Depot. I've been using these for about 10 years and they are awesome. I still have one in this garden that I had way back in our house in Houston and it is still running just fine. And these are really handy for doing a hands-free irrigation system. It's awesome. So these dig timers just connect to any standard threaded hose connection. And below that, we are going to put this pressure regulator on the end here. That's highly recommended. It comes with the Master Gardener kit and it's highly recommended by a grower solution to keep that drip tape from bursting because pressures, especially out with a well and a well tank can fluctuate a little bit 
And our system, our rural water system, also has some serious pressure fluctuations sometimes. So that's an important little thing to have. On the end of our pressure regulator, we're gonna put this fitting, which is the push fitting for the end of our half inch poly tube. Now, from here, it's your best judgment on how your greenhouse is set up. We've got T fittings, we've got elbows. We're gonna run this half inch poly down one side, best way we think it fits in our greenhouse, and then put our drip tape on our beds. Okay, let's show you what we did so far. We ran the half inch poly down and elbowed it off. We used it, uh, some of these landscaping staples, just kind of hold it in place. I didn't wanna use another elbow here because I'm not walking in this area, so it's no big deal. But up here, it was important to uh, direct it that way and down the edge of the beds. And it's really easy to put these emitters in. You just use this punch tool and punch it in. And then I'll show you how to put the tape on. So I've secured the half inch poly inside of our bed with some more um, landscape staples. They seem to work very well. Get the deeper ones, the eight inch ones, because they'll hold a little bit better. For the tape, you need to have the emitters, this little slit facing up so the water comes out and runs over the tape and falls into your soil. Push in your finger on the end on the tape. It's really easy to get on. These are reverse threaded. So push the tape on over the barb and then just reverse screw this back and it'll secure that tape from coming off. On the end of the drip tape are these slip ends. What you do is slide the end in the tapered side, in the shortest side here, fold it over twice, minimum, and then just slide it through. And that seals the end of your drip tape. And then at the end of our poly tubing, wherever that is, we're just gonna put one of these figure eight connectors to seal off the end. So there we go. Everything's plumbed, the system is hooked up, and it's watering the plants. Now I've got a lot of poly tube to run, and there's no particular way to run it. Run it for what is most convenient for you and how your greenhouse is set up. You could have your beds turned the other way, you could have more beds, less beds. I'm gonna have some uh, tomato beds here in the center sometime in the near future, and we've gotta actually complete and finish all of our beds down there. But it's gonna be highly customized to your greenhouse or to your garden. And if you didn't see our initial video on the system, go click at the top of the screen for that. So have fun running everything, make it your own. It's really easy to do. And look at these beautiful fall veggies coming up in the greenhouse. I'm excited to have this. It's our first year ever having a greenhouse. We're very blessed to have it and I'm very thankful. So now I have to get the rest of these poly lines run so I can get water to the other side. Now go check out this video right here which shows you how I built this greenhouse by myself. Have a great day. We love you. See you next time. Bye.